Hello, I'm IBX Toycare, and this is a feature preview for the Beacon block, one of the new blocks coming in the next update for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. So, ever since they were confirmed in the latest screenshot that 4J showed that had loads of horses, had some other redstone features and stuff, people have been wondering, so what, you know, what's the big deal about hoppers? Why does anyone care? And to be honest, if you explain it in text form, it doesn't sound like a bunch, because, uh, you know, the most basic explanation is, oh, they take him blocks that are on the block above them, and that doesn't sound so exciting, because what use does that have by itself, right? But hopefully in this video, I'll be actually opening your mind as to the possibilities they contain, because it's a big number of possibilities, maybe even sparking your creativity and getting you excited for hoppers, because I think they're a pretty cool bo uh, block uh, after researching them, and I think you should think that too. So, uh, yeah, this is using PC gameplay, like all my other feature previews. I think it's better to show you gameplay, because the PC already has it, than it is to just talk over screenshots. Hopefully you guys agree, and if you do, you can check out some other feature previews when you're done with this one. They'll be linked in the description, but without further ado, into the video then. So, as I said, the most basic, uh, you know, kind of explanation is they uh, suck in, or, you know, take in uh, any blocks uh, that are in the block above them. So if you throw an item up there, it kind of takes it in. Kind of like a pressure plate, but instead of, the, you know, actually lifting down the pressure plate, it just takes it in. And uh, this might not sound like a whole bunch of use, because, oh, now there's toppers in my hopper, what does that use have? Uh, but, like, in reality, it means you can do some cool things. So let's say, for instance, that you have... Um, I'm just going to break this thing, Clay. Let's say, for instance, you have a chest down there. Then that means what will actually happen is any blocks that you put in there will go into the chest like that. So they go from the hopper, and they end up in the chest there, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can do the same thing uh, with multiple hoppers here. So let's say you have hoppers below your hoppers. Then you can, uh, if you really want, you could have uh, like a massive chain of hoppers that actually move your items around. Uh, some of them bounce off. But as you can see, they slowly pour into the bottom hopper from there. Um, what makes this even more interesting is because they are a redstone item, they came in the redstone update, um, if you do actually... Actually, uh, so let's, uh, you have a block there, you have a redstone torch up just over there to actually, you know, turn off these uh, hoppers. Uh, what's interesting is if you power the hoppers, uh, instead of them doing more f functions, they actually turn off. So let's say we're throwing a hop uh, some blocks in there now. Now they actually get stuck there because this hopper is turned off. Ex you know, there there's a few reasons to turn off hoppers. It's not the vast majority of them. And it's pretty cool to have a redstone item that functions when it's not powered rather than the other way around. So, uh, yeah, hoppers are a really cool piece of redstone because you don't need to use redstone, which uh, sounds like a weird way to put it, but there's that. Um, interesting enough, uh, hoppers will also take in anything that's in a chest above them. So, uh, let's say in this chest I have my entire stack of clay. Uh, it slowly takes the clay, puts it in the hopper, then puts it in the chest below, which I think is pretty cool, to be totally honest. And, uh, yeah, that's how you can basically move stuff from chest to chest. So, let's say this is the chest in my mine, and then I have a big string of hoppers, which go all the way from here, all the way to my main base over there, let's say. Uh, you could just put your, you know, cobblestone in there when you empty out of your inventory, and it will slowly be transferred all the way to your base. Um... This stuff starts to get cooler when you start to throw in stuff like furnaces and brewing stands. So, uh, for instance, let's say we have a furnace just here. Uh, what we can do is if we put raw beef in the top and we put coal in the bottom, uh, it will actually put, uh, you know, keep fueling the furnace, and even when it runs out of space, it will just keep on going. And that's a really cool thing. On top of that, if I really wanted to, uh, I could break it down here, and I could even put a hopper like bleep below it, and that's where all the cooked beef would go. So, as you can see, uh, it, it takes uh, the raw beef, it takes the coal, it cooks it, and then it puts in that hopper. And you can just imagine, then, if you have loads of chests, uh, you know, attached to this stuff, so you have a chest there, you have a chest there, you have a chest there, uh, that you can do some really amazing stuff entirely automated, uh, so... What makes this uh, the next level of cooler is uh, if you can use this for adventure maps and stuff. So, you know, uh, in areas where you have to be like, okay, throw your block down and do that sort of stuff. Uh, you can actually trust people to do that because um, basically uh, the hopper will take in anything in the block above it. But uh, there's a clever little, you know, way around that. Basically, uh, a half slab is only half the block above it. So if I throw anything on this half slab right here, it goes into the hopper. So it seems like the block's disappearing, but it's actually kind of registering it. It's throwing the blocks around and you can have stuff that keeps an eye on like how many blocks you actually have in there. So. Uh, yeah, there's so many possibilities of this. Not only can you power furnaces, not only can you put stuff in brewing stands, dro uh, just droppers as well as dispensers, other hoppers and stuff, um, but you can also do that entirely invisibly, you can, you know, not have people know what's going on, and there's something really cool and strange about that to me. So, uh, yeah, not only can you activate stuff with this, you can also, see, look, for instance, it just keeps throwing my stuff in this hopper down here, and uh, now I've got myself some free steak without having to cook it at all. Uh, of course, setting up the systems can be difficult, but that's just the nature of Minecraft, right? Uh, so, that's the hopper, it's a really cool item, uh, but that's not not where its uh, usability ends. So one of the features that when I asked Sono about it, he was like, you know, what? it makes anything automatable. So let's say, for instance, you have an insane sugarcane farm like mine that goes all the way up to, you know, um, I think it's all the way up to Sky Limit on my uh, insane sugarcane farm. Let's say you have one of those and there's loads of sugarcane dropping off the side. So what you can actually do in that case is you could, uh, you know, hook it up. You could have a minecart with a hopper in because that's one of the new items that comes too. Uh, as you can see here, it's it's just a hopper in there. So we'll take out the sugarcane and it's in there right now. 
Uh, but yeah, so uh, you could just uh, knock down your sugar cane, you could collect all you can by hand, or you could even use pistons. Let's pretend that I'm the piston here. And uh, what the minecart will actually do is it will pick it up and... Then you've, you, you, know, you, know, you don't have to worry about it. Your minecart just picks it up for you. On top of that, if you want to go the next step crazier, uh, what you could even do then is with the minecart picking it up, you can have a chest below it, for instance. Uh, this is powering the rail. Uh, but you could have a chest below the uh, thing magic and. Oops, I just reversed it, whatever. <laughs> you could have a chest below there, and then you could make it take all of the sugar cane, put it in a chest, and then have like an sh automated sugar cane farm. You could also do this for wheat, have an automated wheat farm. And yeah, as, as like I just said, it makes anything automatable, and that's really crazy cool in my opinion. So... To kind of recap, hoppers are a really cool block because they take items in from the block above them, but their, you know, their list of possibilities doesn't end there because there's so many cool things you can do. So, you know, it, it doesn't just stop at having, uh, you know, stuff going to chests. You can uh, put stuff into other hoppers, make a really long chain of it that can go as far as you want behind the scenes, uh, just moving items around. Uh, if you really want, you can move stuff from chest to chest like this, as you just saw. So I'll throw these uh, steak in there again. Um... You can also fuel stuff in a dispenser, uh, in a uh, furnace using this. Let's say this was an entire chest full of uh, raw beef. This was an entire, you know, hopper full of coal. Uh, it would just keep fueling the furnace and giving you the output. Uh, it really, really adds a lot of automation to Minecraft, and it's it's a fairly complex item to get going into all systems. But there's some really cool possibilities, and hopefully you're looking forward to them as much as I am because I am crazy excited about these. Now I know their full possibilities. So like the video if you did like it, I'd very much appreciate it. As I said, I've got some other feature previews you can check out for the next update um i'm well thinking of doing one for the wither now it's confirmed uh, let me know if you'd like to see that um if you would uh, leave a comment down below it, it, either way i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and here is an outro